What's up? Ryan is running late, which means I start without him. Uh, so let's, I want to take a moment to take a look at some of the achievements, because I haven't seen them yet, and I feel like there's some fun spoilers in here. Then I will know, and he will not. All right. So Saren, Saren is us. Okay, so there's, there's an, and all of these are romance related. There's just achieve, achievements for doing it as Saren and as Eleanor, who I assume is the elven girl. So replay value, replay value is important. That's awesome. Um, uh, I'm a Kiki. We haven't met yet. You wait. You can you can romance. Karen? Loren's mom? That's... Okay. End the game without the romance. Save Erevorn from evil. Defeat Grob at hard level. Defeat Khan at hard level. Yeah, these are all the... Uh... Fifty joking answers <laughs> makes you the jokester. And the mess fit and that stuff I, I assume is all from the DLC. Because yes, there's DLC, and yes, we have it. Oh, kill the vampires. Wow, alright. Are there Steam achievements for this game? Yes. There are 40 Steam achievements for this game. I'm excited. Oh. Alright, let's do this thing. I dig the, I dig the guitar, I gotta admit. Let's take a look at our party. Here in the town of Grimoire. Oh, it's so loud. There we go. No, no. Can we take a look at our thing? Yes. Alright, so we have Ramus, the Ab Dwarf, and Merchant. Uh, we'll see. I'm mostly just trying to remember how this game works. Loran who fights with two swords. Oh, we have gems that we can sell. Right, and then her... Oh, dude, I have no idea. Also, I didn't turn my phone off because I'm a monster. That's my uh, Slack uh, telling me that we're going live, which is super useful. Oh, it sounds like Ryan's here. Right, because we took all the cool ass elemental attacks. We got Fireball 2 and Blizzard. Oh, right, and we have fucking terrible Blizzard. Oh. Do we have any jewelry? No, we have a, sh we have a buckler. Does, can she equip the buckler? Yes! Uh, 
Although I feel like we are more likely to wind up with the buckler than she is, and we're more likely to wind up in the front row. I did not name any of these people. We did not get to name anyone, which is why they have boring names. Um, we have Loren, and Saren, and Draco, and Dora, and Apollo Michaud, and Ramus. I assure you, if I had gotten to name these people, their names would be much sexier. I mean, look at this man. Look at this man's abs. Look at the power of this armor. Our dwarf. The man himself. Game music is still a little loud. Oh, that's right. We turned up the game music um, for XCOM. Ah. That should probably fix it. I'm also going to make sure we're using the right mic. Yay! Unplugging and plugging in audio devices from computers is a crapshoot. I took a look at the achievements while you uh, were uh, not here. Uh, they were spoilerific. Oh, alright. I will um, point out that if you are a lady elf, yeah. if you take the lady elf option, there is apparently an achievement for romancing Loren's mom. Why? <laughs> we have made poor choices. I think that no, 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 no. One, one, one second, one second. Smithing and believed that I had like another casual hour before you the start. monster. Yeah, well, I, I managed to get home and stop smelling like blacksmithing. Uh, All right. I should also. Snuggle. Huh? Yeah. You're all, you're a little transparent. We'll get there. Yeah, a new rule of the studio is don't wear green. Hooray. It's, but yeah, that's pretty solid. Clear. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mess around. I just gotta rearrange the monitors a bit to get the camera centered a bit more. It's, uh, it's been a trick. Alright, so let's shop. We have some stuff we can sell. Yay. Um... Yeah. It's worth a grand total of 50 bucks. Woo! Um, we don't have any garbage weapons kicking around? Oh, maybe we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, standard sword. Oh, I forgot how good the interface on this was. Yeah, user experience. Super important. Crossbow rain. Is this? No, this is terrible. It has a name, though. Yeah. No, why? Like, I feel like we looked at it and we didn't give it to somebody. Minor Frost Sword. Because it's not an improvement for, like, our boy here. And, uh, or our archer? No. She has an actual good weapon. So, I mean, if we look at, uh... Most of these weapons are not a super good improvement. I think we just hold on to it. Yeah, no. It's... The two-handed sword Death Knight is, uh, it costs literally all of our money. But, uh... No, it's only 600. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was looking at the, uh, again. Oh, it's... no, we have 848. Okay, yeah. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, but given how challenging the fights have been thus far, I'd hate to come across a thing that we can spend money on. That isn't just larger numbers and not have the coin. Yeah. Like, if we're going to need to bribe someone, I like to save bribe money. Fair. I I like... I will say <clears throat> that I like that these weapon icons look totally sweet. Uh, yeah. Right. There's only about, you know, a dozen of them, but they look sweet. Like, all I want is a character that, like, dual wields this one and this one. And they look rad. They look like everybody's D&D character that they ever wanted. Well, the pants, on the other hand... Look like... They are printed spandex. Mm -hmm. With foam on the sides. You just 3D printed all of your... 
things. Right, like, it looks like somebody made, like, foam cosplay armor uh, from a video game, and then somebody based this armor art off of those. Yep. Alright, so let's assume that we're... Oh, we're getting rid of the core staff. Uh, we'll keep the frost sword, I guess. I don't know, does anybody want it? Does anybody want it? She uses two swords. So she has a tempered longsword. Which does more damage. And she has a minor sonic sword. Which is essentially the same. But sonic. And sonic is cooler than frost. Agreed. Like, how many games um, does frost have? Uh, we could use it, but we always shoot stuff with our crossbow. Yeah, well, I mean, we could... Sure, let's have a better weapon than we have. Yeah, oh, yeah and fine crossbow is better than compared yeah, to fine crossbow. Than yeah. rain, yes. All right, yeah. All right, so, yeah, sell everything. Purge, 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 purge. All right, so we get the ice sword now. Sweet. All right. God. Oh. <sighs> All right, don't, don't, don't hit escape. Escape is the wrong button. Yeah, no, escape right, does nothing so, useful. So, fifty bucks. It's got a name. Uh, yes, Pippin. Those pants are super somebody's wrestling gear. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like th this is full of ring gear. These shoes, ring gear. But that shirt, hundred percent. Yeah, I like, like the poison gets... icon. God, <laughs> violently vomiting radioactive spew. I I would like to be resistant to that actually. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's uh, let's view tasks. Uh... Okay. So I understand what these things are. Let us gain fame. But what I don't know is... We, did we I... Did no, I, we haven't been introduced to, like, a fame mechanic yet. I don't remember why we're even in this town. Like, I thought we just came back because we were done. We came back with the, from the mountain with the cool-ass sword. Yeah, right? which we get to keep because... It's our destiny. Yeah. Density. Or, something. Destiny 2 is a, Destiny's a different game. Yeah. No, yeah. It's our, it's our density. Um, well, I will say my, so far my favorite name for Destiny 2 is Destiny's Trump. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, so I I assume what we're gonna do is fight a two versus two battle in the arena where all parties are consenting, um, and we're not beating up on local law enforcement or just vigilante justice. Well, I mean, also it gives us the most. Uh, also that. All right. Review your party setup. The current party limit is two. Uh. But no. But we can take anybody. Okay. Uh, so I assume. Ooh, do we want? Do we want to keep the Elfsman? Yeah, he is. Well, it's it's first two. Cause we could go and roll like that. I, I assume that Loren is our front. I, yeah, I think she's the better front line than uh, Dwarfy McDwarfington. Yeah. And I've forgotten everybody's names except like uh, Loren. Oh, Loren, right? Draco? Oh, shit. Ramus? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just rediscovered the moment where I'm like, oh, that guy looks like Draco Malfoy. It's like, oh, his name is Draco. Yes. Ramus, Saren, that's you. Yeah, yeah. Dora, also you. Yep. Apollo Michaud. Right, Apollo Michaud. Right. Also me. Good son type. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, I think we want to bring these two. Yeah, uh, that will probably kill anything that shows up. It's literally just a fight. <laughs> Alright, and so what do we got here? Oh wow, they hit her hard. Wow, yeah. That is more damage Ooh. than I think she has ever taken. Jesus. Um, weak to air. This guy's weak to fire, though. Yeah, but we can probably just take out that back guy wizard before he ever gets to go, right? Uh, yeah, he's weak to fire. I'm worried about losing Loren. Oh, right, Loren. Well, Loren can only attack the front row anyway. Like, she has knockdown, yeah. Yeah, let's do knockdown. Oh, yeah, we're gonna lose. 
Uh, fireball. 25 to 28. We are going to lose. We're going to get our butts kicked. Every fight so far has been trivial. Yeah. We finally finished the tutorial portion, I guess. Now the game's like, oh! Yeah, yeah no, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, tr let's try that again. See if there's anything we can do better. Uh, what? Whoa. Uh, I don't know what just happened. I think they their first swing just killed Draco. How does that even work? I don't know. Yes. Guard B used Fireball 2. Hit Draco for 133 fire damage. Wow. Draco yeah. is dead. What is even happening? Alright, so I guess we load our save game. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no way... So, so the answer to what happens if you lose a fight is you just, you just load, have to load your save game. So let's uh, sell some stuff real quick. Uh, dear Pippin, I approve of all of the life choices that you have made that led to that moment. Uh... Alright. Um... Ooh. Please try not to die. So yeah, apparently the game is actually difficult now. Uh, Alright, one hit save. Yeah, that seems wise. Uh, bottom right. No. Okay, so maybe we can't uh, fame ourselves right into... Uh... Is, there, is there anything else we can do? Nope. Well, we can leave, I guess. Yeah, we can leave. They left, oh, just before oh. they left the city, they were stopped by city guards, who were like, You're not famous enough to leave the city! Oh. Mm. Nope. Pleasant, fearing the worst, they were pleasantly relieved when Apollo Michaud revealed himself. Leaving without me, princess? Ronan and Saren expected the old wizard as he approached, surrounded by guards once more. Only this time, he was by, being followed by someone new. A large man with a stern face. And a nipple that is trying to escape up his armpit. We parted ways after I gave you the sword. And here it is again, meaning that our paths must cross once more. He pointed to some guards carrying a long decorative case. They opened it up to reveal the ember blade resting on a cushion of velvet. It truly looked like a weapon meant for the gods. What is the meaning of this? Why have you stopped me? I like that the case that they put it in is like the kind that you buy like a decorative sword in, like a con. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've learned something very important about the shadow creatures that attacked us those nights ago. This is really concerning me. You're keeping me from my task. This most certainly concerns you. <laughs> the whole world is on the precipice of war. And even the Amazons cannot hide for it. I speak in hyperbole and dramatic tones always. Fear. Drama. <laughs> We're inside and tap her foot. <laughs> Make this short. Consulting with the council, we have found the crystal used to send the shadow men. Oh, thank you, Pippin. <laughs> Could only have been found in the volcanic lands of the Everburn Mountains. In before Draco's like, are those the mountains that are always on fire? <laughs> Bam! Cold shot! Everburn Mountains? That's demon territory. Uh, yes, the home of the demons. I bought them before, a long time ago, when I was the protagonist and my beard was not quite so long. Also, there's some dude named Faust. Faust? Foster. It's, Fo it's Faust. Oh, Fausta. It's short for Foster Logger. Right. Right. Faust. He is a bloodthirsty force and also a beer-thirsty force. <laughs> he's just thirsty in <laughs> he's, general. He's a very thirsty gentleman. Thirst level quite high. And 
And if he is behind this attempt to wage war, then we will stop at nothing to have it. <laughs> Dramatic thunder. A war between elves and humans? What do I care? I mean, apart from the fact that I'm actually kind of a human, even though I haven't figured that out. Your genetics are ambiguous, I fear, <laughs> princess. That your mother may be part of Faust's grand scheme. Paul Michaud had Lorenz full attention to this point, on account of there was literally nowhere else to look. Except the demands... That, that woman is incredibly... Um, I, don't, I don't even... She must be asexual? Like, you don't even have to be heterosexual or interested in men any, in any way to not be hideously distracted by the nearly naked torn shirt man standing to the left of Apollo Michaud. Like, how could he have her full attention with this, like, this unexplained dude there? It's so just like, I'm just, I'm just hanging out. I like it here. Uh, how do you like my pack? My other one's not as impressive, so I keep it hidden. No, it's, I think it's the opposite. I think the other one is so impressive it's <laughs> necessary to keep it hidden. <laughs> When I asked you to help the Empire retrieve the sword, it was so that we could bring it back as a weapon for the Empire to use. For, for protection only, of course. Gandalf-like asshole wink. Keep it secret, keep it safe, you know. You're, as you know, the Amber Blade is one of the few swords forged by the gods to endow the world with their might. Interesting choice of the words endow. That's, mm -hmm. It's got very... It, it has in connotations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, a finely crafted piece of steel. It does nothing more than that in the wrong hands. Loren immediately recalled how the sword had glowed at her touch back on the mountain. I will not give... Uh, it will not give its full strength to just any mortal. The mortal must be the strongest and most worthy warrior whom our Ravorn has to offer. Oh, I, uh, have you talked to the guards in the uh, in the arena? They they, they were quite uh, quite quite, that, quite, they were, quite stalwart, if, <laughs> if I may. <laughs> quite skilled. Yes, there was a there was a wizard there that whoo, whoo. <laughs> give you a run for your money. I tell you what. <laughs> what of this old tale? It's not a tale. It is reality, and. And we all witnessed how the sword reacted to Princess Loren. It has a mild, mild, mild allergy. The gods have recognized her as worthy of their power. Of course they did. Loren has no peer. I feel like that's meant to be more sarcastic. Oh, sorry. I, no, I'm not reading. I'm reading really badly. Of course they did. Loren has no peer! There's... Uh, exclamation mark there. I assume I have to show those. Saren. Forgive me. <laughs> the council and I had hoped to give this sword to Grimoire's greatest warrior. <clears throat> he turned and allowed the tall man to step forward. <laughs> and Mukiki, the bear! We're just, we're just gonna give Jim a moment. <laughs> oh man, of course he's the bear. <laughs> ah, he's a little clean, like he's yeah, I know, clean, right? Like shorn for the bear. I mean, I, I guess that like, that there's t your tastes and your choices and your personality and your fashion sense uh, choices don't always have to match up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the champion of the arena! He has won tournament after tournament and is the best warrior whom the Empire has ever seen! It will be a roughly equivalent level to you, shits. And yet, if we uh, attempted to go to the arena with him, he'd get his ass handed to him. He gestured for Amukiki to take the stiff sword and approach the Ember Blade and took it by the hilt to wield it for the party. It did not glow. There's no reaction in the sword to him. As much as it troubles us, the sword can only be of use if the sword will recognize the owner. In short, princess, the ember blade is yours. Wow, you're really giving her the ancient relic? Present it to her, Amukiki. Tip first.
the warrior was rigid in <laughs> hesitation, and then he finally held the sword's blade so that Loren could take it by the handle. Slowly, Loren did just that. He quivered. <laughs> okay. Right? I don't. No, I don't. I don't need to. No, no. We're the, the uh, I need to, care I don't of this. Need... Yeah. No. <laughs> Wrapping her fingers deftly around the hilt caused an. Also, don't grab swords by the hilt. No, that's that's Isn't right. It? Isn't yeah, it? that the whole. I'm thinking oh, of the guard. I'm yeah, the, the whole guard. handlebar is bit exactly is the, the hilt. hilt. Yeah. Confirming okay. that it had truly chosen her. This guy needs a voice. Because uh, <clears throat> he's gonna become a party member. Yeah. I knew he was gonna be a party member. Uh, Something good in Barry. No, I, I, I. I feel like I feel like that's uh, that's the opposite. I think that, the, that this guy is like. It's very soft spoken. No, no, no. I don't want. I don't want to go that far. I, mean, I think it's. I want to. I want to say like. Uh, like, cause he's an arena champion, right? So he's yeah. like charismatic. So he's probably got like a like a like a radio DJ voice. Take care of it. It stands for more than you know. That is the wrong kind of radio DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, man. That's like <laughs> uh, Badger and the Snake. Yeah, waking up your normal morning ride. It's just a. It, I, I'm here in the, in, uh, at 9 a.m. in the morning. It's a Mukiki and the Wombat. The Wombat. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> no, I think it's perfect. I uh, think that no, you're second second round there. All right, all right. Yeah, first round was like I would like, <laughs> like like the next thing out of your mouth was going to be a fart sound effect for first try, man. Listen, all right. Arena crowds want what arena crowds want. Welcome to the arena, where you make fart sounds on pain of death. As we can tell from our previous attempt, arena combat is mortal. Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, Loren was humbled by the gift. Yeah, she had not. I don't believe it. She had not expected to be entitled to such an honor. She had only wanted to save her mother. Oh, I forgot her lack of pants. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Just <laughs> although it looks like. Amukiki uh, has a similar disdain for pants and undergarments. No one gives a fuck about your pants at 6 a.m. <laughs> and what of this man? Saren could detect jealousy in Amukiki as he watched Loren handle <clears throat> the weapon that had once been meant for him. His eyes met with Saren's eyes, which were meeting with his eyes at that time. They're both their eyes were meeting. A third pair of eyes. They also blink in unison. Was not involved. Oh god, they do blink in unison. Oh, no, no, they're on a different timer. They just happened to blink in unison. <laughs> okay. For years I've trained to become Grimoire's elite weapon. I was used to str I was to use the strength of this blade to protect the Empire and the whole of Erevorn. Suddenly he knelt in front of Loren, who stared at him, wide-eyed in surprise. And now I can only serve to protect the true wielder of the Ember Blade. Yeah, yeah, you, I think you found it. I hereby pledge myself to protect Princess Lorena of the Amazons at the cost of my life, if necessary. Pity for the man turned to jealousy. Saren was Lorena's sworn protector. Not this man. We're romancing this man. <laughs> Under also, you have to shout that line. No, Saren was Lorena's sworn protector. Not this man. <clears throat> That is not necessary. I am here to protect her. You may return to your life as it was before this moment. Hey, we already have enough bodyguards. Thank you and goodbye. My life before was that sword. I've already made my oath. Alright, so <clears throat> what does a, a Mukiki do? Alright. Uh, shield defense. He's our tank! Oh, he, he's the tankiest tank. Sweet. All right. uh, battle cry. He can make people afraid. Shield bash. How, uh, what does battle cry, who does that affect? Uh, front row. Front row. And we don't know what fear does, but it's probably bad. Uh, shield wall. Yeah, reduces damage to everyone in the, in the front row of his allies for... That's not how 30%. shield walls work, but that's fine. That's fine. He's got a defensive buff. That's just—is that static or is that an action? Uh, it's an action. Okay. 
Um, shield wall seems pretty decent. Yeah, I like half damage for. Yeah, for a couple of turns, because at first, like, what is uh, first level of it get us? Thirty percent for three, t but that's third three turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, work us that way. We've got two points. Just so... take a look. Battle cry two, <clears throat> assault one. Yeah, no, I don't care no. about him hurting anybody. No, and then we got the the taunt. All right. So yeah, we've got two. So should we shield wall? So if we 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 need to get yeah, so yeah we need that center one and then sh we can get shield wall but we've got two skill points. All Hooray! Right. Yay. Shield wall. Auto assign. What? <laughs> there we are. All right. Your beautiful beautiful man chest. He stared hard into Saren's eyes, as if to warn him not to challenge his devotion again. I will follow the sword as well. It is the Empire's only hope, and so the Amazon Princess is our only hope. In before we Dra don't have particularly good <laughs> military strategists. <laughs> we, we were did. hoping that somebody would come along and we could just stab our enemies with this one. We don't have a lot of hope, really. That's why it's our only one. Yeah. We're... I have not committed to helping the Empire. I will not <clears throat> fight elves. That is unnecessary! What, that, there's some object agreement that's not going on quite right there. The sword will show you your path, and I will trust that it will be the right one, because I am secretly the DM in this. Yeah, <laughs> this is the moment when the GM, like, like your players come back to you as a GM, and they're like, alright, we're sick and fucking tired of your goddamn bullshit NPC. And they're like, which one? And they're like, no, 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 both of them. We're sick and fucking tired of them. It's like, oh, no, no, wait for next game. Everything will be totally different. Now you've got the sword back. You've, you've completed the tutorial of Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah. And they're like, oh, okay. And then and then the GM spends half an hour of that next game in this scene. We're just like, yes, Loren, you're the chosen one. You and your companions will follow the path of the sword. And then they're like, oh, well, I don't know. I just, you know, I... Really, rather busy and, and don't worry. The sword will show you the way. And I'll just then, my and, wheezy man will just sort of step back, and the sword will show you the yeah, way. Yeah. It's all your choices. It's all yeah. your choices. And, and, and as you can say, like Draco is the player. Yeah. In this <laughs> in this moment, he's just like oh, great. <laughs> So now these two guys are following us too. The crazy old guy who nearly killed me. And the guy who looks like he could kill me just by blinking too hard. I agree. Our group is full enough as it is. <clears throat> Staren stood, be stood between Emukiki and the party. He glared at him in return, not appreciating how unwelcome he was to the group he had just sworn, sworn allegiance to. As long as you help and don't slow me down, I don't care anymore. I just need to leave and find my mother. We shall not burden you, just as before. <laughs> My grace, you can't be... Saren? Yes. Forgive me? One last time before joining Loren's side, Saren gave a long, <clears throat> a sidelong glare to Amukiki. Loren was his, not his to protect, and they didn't even know if he could be trusted. In retrospect, the initial tensions between Serena and Amukiki were merely because they were both people desperately searching for recognition in this cruel world. Both were raised as nobodies and were given a chance to make something of themselves. Sure, but one of them was raised in slavery. At least one. <laughs> At least one, yeah. Like, we don't know that much about Amukiki yet. For some reason, they believed <clears throat> that only one of them could truly attain such priceless recognition. Ah. We are going to fuck that man. We should leave possibilities open. He might fuck us. Hmm. Point. You now have more than six party members, etc., etc. <clears throat> you can still level up anyone, everyone by alternating the formation and returning to old places such as the Temple of Truth. Which means that your party members who are not in your party do not get XP. Oh, God. Oh, no. 
Which means, <clears throat> pick the fucking six people that you're completely in love with. Um, I'm also looking at the other people that we don't have yet in this little screenshot. Uh, this lady has a bra made of trees. Uh, um, this person has transparent hair. <clears throat> that uh, central lady, is that? That's, that's uh, Eleanor. That's, that's Eleanor. That's our alternate elf self? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, man, this fucking sweet right? Saren 8-pack. Yeah, like, why don't we wait. have that going on? Uh, this is Ken. Shaw. Uh, I can't tell who this person is. Uh, I don't think I don't think we've met her yet, I but she's got a sweet corset. I'm pretty sure they're Lulu from Final Fantasy X. All right. Um, <laughs> we have literal Braveheart. We'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. Like I said, we just need to pick six people that we fucking fall in love with. Alright, let's go to our camp. Alright. <clears throat> um, new guy first? New guy first. Let's learn about new guy. Let's try to make friends with new guy. Saren walks up to the hulking gladiator, <clears throat> standing guard by himself on the outskirts of camp. It's my turn to guard the camp! I'm not familiar with the Empire's customs. You have made an oath involving my mistress, and I want to know what that means. Common, motherfucker! Do you speak it? The warrior was quiet for a moment. The oath I made is not an Empire custom. It's part of my heritage, which makes it much, much stronger. What is your heritage, if not the Empire? Uh... Before I click Jedi, this button, fucking Jedi, fake First Nations. Oh yeah, this this guy is is second last of Mo the Mohicans. <laughs> yeah, this isn't Braveheart. This is Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> I'm from the Nomads of the South. I have lived with the within the Empire, and that is all. You defend the Empire as if it were important to you. I swore an <clears throat> oath to my nation as well. You know. And if your oath to your nation conflicts to your oath with Loren? I explode, dealing 8d6 damage to all creatures within 30 feet. He did not speak for a moment, but was completely still. The dexterity save difficulty is approximately 15, although that may increase as I gain levels. I will not harm the wielder of the Ember Blade, also. So, yeah. things that I learned, mm -hmm. looking at the achievements... Right. There is an achievement for each of these answers. For giving... For example, if you answer 50 joking answers, you get the achievement Jokester. Oh. Keep that in mind when making your choice. <laughs> are we going chi Chivo hunting? Are, are we achievement hunters? Um... <clears throat> So, so far we've been nothing but an asshole with this guy. Yes. And we want to bone him. Hmm. Do we want to reach out a hand uh, of friendship at this point? Or do we want to be, maintain our forceful stance? Do you think this guy would respond well to a little bit of dominance? I don't think so. I think that he is, he, he is a top. All right, so friendly or joking then, and I don't think yeah. this guy's ready for a joke. Maybe later. <laughs> not, a, not, not one of fucking our jokes. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Your nipple. My nipple. Who? Your nipples behind that cloth door. We should open it. No, that's that's better than most of what we've come up with. That's true, actually. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, it's cogent. So friendly then? Friendly, yeah. Uh, we're placing a lot of trust in those words, sir. I will not hesitate for to fight you if you break... What the fuck? This boy does not understand the meaning of friendly. <laughs> that's the friendliest shit you could come out no, with. No, that's the D&D that's the D &D character version of friendly. It's like, what do you... Do you say something friendly? Yeah. What's that? I probably won't kill you. I probably won't. These are the conditions under which I will kill you. <laughs> Do we have a friendly, a gentleman's agreement then? Yes. <laughs> I don't break my oaths. But you make several of them, so it's possible that they could conflict. 
Are you three laws safe? <laughs> if that were ever the case, I would take my own life. As of the aforementioned 8d6 damage. Now I do hope to level up, which will increase that damage. So if I were you, I'd watch the fuck out. I hope that's not necessary. I would take my life by cutting off my own head with this shield. You missed the part that it was the friendly bit I'm flirting with. You know, you're too deep into your Yeah, oaths. you see, I don't make oaths I can't keep. I'm going to make you make some oaths. All night long. Oh, dear. Uh, all right. Uh, why don't we talk to the wizard? Yeah. Oh, no, dear. I think you should apologize to Draco more thoroughly. Translation, bang Draco. The wizard straightened his pose but took another moment before speaking. I could have very well been right about him. Everything about him tied him directly to being a spy for the elves. I was not wrong to act on my inclinations. I, I want to say that the writers of this game, for all their faults, fucking nailed old racist guy. <laughs> so no, I was totally fine. I could have been right. I, I just, just, just fucking elves, you can't trust them, you know, it's... Well, uh, the several studies show the size of the ears and links to trustworthiness. You saw what you wanted to see. Your feelings towards the elves may have blinded you. Paul Michaud was quiet for a long time. The matter is over. There's nothing to be had from discussing it further. What? Yeah, yeah, no. Why don't you apologize? What, what is the, uh, what's the phrase for writers? Write what you know? Yeah. <laughs> Why, why, but why don't you just apologize, uh, you know, like, for real? Well, I don't see the point of it, really. I mean, we, we were only talking about it. It's, it's long done. It's oh, been... my actions were entirely justified. Yes, really, so when I you think about it. it's honestly... Well, actually, actually, I, I, actually, I, I, actually. Well, actually, I don't think, I think it's ridiculous that you're the one bringing it up again. Obviously, you're the only one that uh, cares as long yes, as well. Yes, a lot of tone policing going on around here. I Saren. think I apologized quite thoroughly before. Saren sighed and retreated. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, speaking of, let's go talk to Drago. Hey, Drago. <clears throat> I have some. I have to know something. Why did you follow Loren and me to Grimoire after we saved you? It's literally the only town. Follow you. Follow, he says. Follow indeed. Okay, yes, I followed you. And? You two obviously weren't from the Empire, but you're heading straight for its biggest city. And what happened was totally what I thought would happen, and then I fireballed a bunch of people in the police force. You were worried about us. Why didn't you just warn us? You don't want me around, remember? I'm sure we could have le you could have at least mentioned it without earning Loren's complete wrath. <clears throat> That's not all. Anyway, I, I liked you guys. Past tense. I didn't... You didn't know... Well, you knew I was part elf and you didn't care. I don't understand. Is that very peculiar? Well, yeah. You're a human in Empire territory. I was <clears throat> surprised I wasn't dragged to jail. What? Why? Did you or did you not see what your old arch wizard did to me when he found out I was part elf? Uh... Obviously, that is an elven accent. Clearly. I mean, I'm not a real elf. I'm just an elvish impersonator. <laughs> How about when I'm with you guys? I don't really feel all that stuff. Just don't leave me alone with a pull of my show. Please. Fair. Saren wondered just how bad his experiences had been with people, but Loren's actions toward him seemed welcoming. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> Like she threatened to kill me for entirely different reasons. Like for my personality, but it was, but it was personal. Yeah, 